Quero chamar aqui agora para falar comigo um cara. Foi, foi uma das melhores conversas que eu tive aqui em Porto Alegre. E ele fez ferramentas fantásticas, ainda faz ferramentas fantásticas. Guilherme, ele é argentino, para quem não sabe. Uh! <risos> It's just me that I'm so excited to be Argentinian. Yeah. Uh, ele não fala português, eu não falo espanhol, então a gente um vai poquito, falar inglês. Um pouquinho de português. Me também. <risos> You know what would be fun for us to do that in Portugal, yeah, but we, yeah. we won't do that. Let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't understand you, you wouldn't understand me. And okay, okay, perfect. So, yeah, Guillermo, uh, tell me a little bit about you and some, uh, you know, we have uh, previously here Jorn, he's from German, and I asked him something very crucial for us about that seven scored, and he said he was in Argentina. I would like to know <laughs> what is it about with you because you know yeah you guys are not gonna like the title of my presentation oh it's the seven principles <laughs> i i swear to god it has nothing to do this is a joke i've already <laughs> done but okay thank you very much <laughs> this was, no i'm kidding it's uh the seven principles of rich web obligations nothing to do with that score nice so let's go to the serious question uh Okay, you have some really huge and relevant work with open source community and applications and JavaScript and Node and usability. I would like to, you to tell us about how you link all these things and user experience, actually. Uh, all these things, like in s using Socket.io, which is a huge project uh, nowadays. Uh, so yeah, tell us yeah. A, a little about what you think about this whole spectrum. Yeah, you know, um, for the longest time, I started giving a lot of talks about low-level networking and how the pieces fit together and how, for example, Socket.io uses different transports and all of these tricks that we use and all of these workarounds for browser bugs and, and problems with user agents. But honestly, the most important thing that we were trying to do was create a great user experience. In fact, when, when it came to applying all those concepts to my startup, uh, what I decided to do was focusing on one specific use case, which was, for example, file sharing, and try to make that, try to make that user experience great. It didn't really matter that Socket A was being used, but it came to be hugely important when it came to providing the best and most responsive user experience. So lately, the main thing that I think about is What do I want to see from the product? What do I want to see on the website or the mobile application? How do I want them to behave? And then work my way back to what frameworks we can create to make that easy. In fact, uh, the presentation I'll give today has to do with what are some of these principles that could enable anyone here to create the frameworks of the future? Because as you're going to see, I think the web is kind of broken, and there's a lot of opportunities to fix it, uh, which is got to stick with the user experience. Awesome. I think, I think you summarized pretty much a lot of questions I would like to do in this one. I appreciate that. So, uh, pessoal, uma salva de palmas. Guilherme, com vocês, sem mais delongas. Thank Obrigado. You.